Okay, today I wanted to do a quick video explaining the difference between a standard efficiency furnace versus a high efficiency furnace. So some terminology first. A standard efficiency furnace converts roughly 80% plus or minus of the energy from the combustion process into heat energy to heat your home through the heat exchanger. High efficiency furnaces converts 90% or more of the energy from the combustion process into heat energy to heat your home through the heat exchangers. Wow. So here we'll compare a standard efficiency furnace on the left to a high efficiency furnace on the right. So the basic operation at a very basic level is exactly the same. The air gets sucked in through the filter on both units through the blower motor and the blower motor then blows the air up through the heat exchanger and then obviously that warmed air then gets distributed out through your house through the registers. However, you will note there is some differences. So on the standard efficiency furnace, we have a single metal exhaust stack, a single speed draft inducer fan motor, a single stage gas valve, a single speed blower motor, and a single heat exchanger. If we look at the high efficiency furnace over here, you'll note we have a PVC exhaust stack and a PVC air intake. Why is that? Well, these newer high efficiency furnaces are so efficient during the combustion process with the dual heat exchangers that the amount of heat that's left over after the combustion process uh, in the exhaust gas is very minimal and there is some condensation as a byproduct of the combustion process. But the majority of the heat energy is actually being transferred into the airflow going into your house or building. And again, as I just said, you can see we have a primary and a secondary heat exchanger. So that's one of the big notice noticeable differences. We have a variable speed blower motor, like an ECM motor. Uh, we have a modulating gas valve and we have a variable speed draft inducer fan motor. And you'll note we also have the addition of a condensate drain line. That usually means that has to go to a floor drain or it has to go to a condensate drain pump like you see here. And there's a little float switch inside that condensate drain pump. When the float switch floats up, it pumps the water out as the water level drops and the float switch drops back down and shuts that little pump off. Now, if you're thinking about upgrading or replacing your old standard efficiency furnace to a high efficiency furnace. These are some things you want to consider. They are usually more expensive up front to purchase and install. They usually have more components. They do have more components, obviously. You have a second heat exchanger, uh, usually not shown here. You'll have multiple uh, pressure switches instead of just one pressure switch. And then when you go to route the PVC exhaust stack and the PVC air intake, uh, that's an additional cost. And depending on your local authority having jurisdiction, what the uh, permit requirement is, what the building code says, that's an additional penetration in your roof or the side of your, your building. <gasps> so again, more expense, more complication. Also, if that variable speed blower motor fails, those are a lot more expensive to replace. If the variable speed draft inducer fan motor fails, those are more expensive to replace. 
If either the primary or heat or secondary heat exchanger fails where they crack or get rusted out and get pinholes or whatnot, uh, those are more expensive and difficult to replace. Um, you also need to have a dedicated 120 volt uh, GFCI receptacle for your condensate drain pump. That condensate drain line will need to be inspected and cleaned out on a regular basis. And in my experience, these high efficiency furnaces are much more finicky uh, when it comes to proper airflow. So if you have a customer or you yourself forget to change your furnace filter, instead of doing it every month or two, maybe you let it go three or four or five months before you change it. <gasps> On these high efficiency furnaces, they'll shut down because you just don't have adequate airflow. And with the multiple uh, pressure switches, it will cause you problems. So again, just keep these factors in mind. If you're thinking about upgrading to a high efficiency furnace. Um, now, personally for me, if I was going to replace my standard efficiency furnace, I would go with another standard efficiency rated furnace. But again, to each his own. <laughs> I hope this information helped. Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, and thanks for watching.